Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. Um, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer and um, I'm not at home this week, I'm actually at my, my in-laws and as you can tell it's uh, it's hell. So um, I have continued to work on Inkscape this, this week, I've just been uh, away and um, so let's get down to what we've been up to. Um, first of all I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my regular sponsors. Thank you so much for your continu continued help. Um, you know, your commitment really makes it possible for me to spend the hours that I spend on working on Inkscape problems. Um, obviously, I also want you to get involved too. So I love to see your comments in the Patreon uh, and in the YouTube videos. Okay, so what did we get up to this week? Um, uh, the objects and dialogue is, is as we were work, work, working on in previous weeks, um, some of the designers and some of you all had got involved and were starting to t tell me about so some of the things, problems that you were having with it. Um, those have been fixed. Uh, problems with basically like opening the che chevrons, selecting groups properly, uh, colors, some background color problems, uh, and some suggestions for like how to do the selections better. Uh, thank you all for your all input. The big work was actually doing the search and filtering. Now, I had avoided doing the searching and filtering in the original objects dialog. I avoided it doing it in this modification, uh, the previous one I did last week. Uh, but I, I had to tackle it head on. I had to fix this problem. And the, the idea is that you want to be able to type in a piece of text or, or even specify a, a type of object and, and filter the whole list. You might think that this is a simple problem, but because of some of the extra features that we'd added into the objects in the dialogue, namely dummy children. These are fake ch children that we add to the tree. So you can see that a node has chill children, but we don't have to load all of the chill children. So if you're one of these painters who paint like thousands of objects inside of a group or a layer, uh, the objects dialogue tries not to load all of them uh, all in one go. Um, but that feature, as good as it is, means that it made searching very, very hard. Because obviously you can't search if you've not loaded anything. Um, so with a lot of different trials and failures and trials and failures, I managed to get a system in place that allows you to both do filtering and retain some of these other features by default. Um, it looks like it's working well. Drag and drop works, which was always a concern. Um, doing uh, uh, like right click, clicking and selecting, selecting groups, selecting layers, even if it's fil filtered, all of that works. Um, so we're very happy that's all been merged in. Um, thank you to uh, Raphael for doing the code re review for that. Uh, next up, we have the... Um, I, I fixed the, the measurement tool. So it turned out that the, the, the ruler tool, uh, if your document wasn't the exact same scale as the display unit, or you had a transform that you had applied to some object, the uh, measurements were just wrong. They, they just weren't, weren't correct. So I had to rewrite an entire section of code in, in the measurement tool so that uh, when you select an object to measure or you, and you're hovering over it and it says it's this wide, it's this high, and the path is this long, etc., those measurements are now actually correct, right? They're the actual measurements that that object is on the document. This says, for instance, if you create a rectangle, uh, rotate it by 90 degrees, and then resize it, that size from corner to corner will be actually the size on the document. Um, it's a fairly nice refactoring. Some of the suggestions from the other developers was, why don't you refactor it further? Because this code could do with some more attention, some more TLC. Um, but I had to make a decision on basically saying, no, I've improved it, it, it it's better now, uh, but not perfect. We can always come back to it if we need to. Um, and I also fixed some other stuff to do with labels and so some of the multi-page stuff. Um, I'm trying to get back into doing some of the multi-page stuff because I feel like I've, I'm kind of becoming a bit detached from it. Um, but that's more of just like organizing my work so that I'm paying attention uh, and revisiting some of the merge requests that I want to get finished. And that's basically it. Raphael did a few crash fi fixes, which were great. I know PBS is continuing his behind the scenes work. Uh, but not, not a lot of other stuff going on. There's been a bit of talk in the uh, extensions community about improving the way extensions work so that you can do font checking properly inside of Python. Um, very pre preliminary stuff. Um, but yeah, it's all, all looking good. And um, 
remember it's summertime. Hope you all are having a good summer. And um, thank you all for, for, for watching. I'll see you all next week. See if we can just wait for the aeroplane to go past. They go past pretty low here. I saw a military jet the other day. It was flying low too.